What's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to put out a video on breathing in cold plunges, ice baths, cold showers. You can really use any of them. A uh, couple of warnings, you know, if you've never done it, it can be pretty intense. So don't just go jumping into an icy river or something by yourself. Bad things will happen. Or they very well can. Uh, also, I want you to remember that, especially if it's your first time doing something, don't worry about a time. Worry about staying in there longer than you want to. So one of the things I tell all my clients first time they come through and do a ice bath or a cold plunge is, if you want to jump out, give me three more breaths. So I want you just to think about that when you're doing it on your own. If you still want to get out, get out, get warmed up, we we'll use a sauna and try it again. But you don't have to push for a specific time. Just stay in there longer than you want to. That's how you really build that mental resistance, resilience of doing something that you don't want to do. So what might happen when you get in, you might be breathing rapidly in and out of the chest. So the first thing you're going to do is get control of the breath and then slow it down. So I'm going to go ahead and get in here and show you guys what to do. So we like to step in and submerge fully. If you're breathing rapidly in and out of your mouth, once you take a few big breaths, then we're going to go in through the nose out of the mouth, powerful breaths to get control. And then I just want you to focus on slowing it down, slowly in the nose, slow right out of the mouth. Slowly in, and slow out. As you're breathing in, breathe it down into the belly, let the belly and ribs expand. And then just slow right out of the mouth. You can use that pursed lips, hissing exhale, even humming. They're all very calming and relaxing. Once you're able to slow it down, go for end of four, in for four, out for eight. I like to also include a little hold after the inhale. It just kind of helps sharpen the mind, get you focused. And I like that hissing exhale. And you just get control of the breath and you slow it down and you focus on the breath. And when you want to get out, keep focusing. Remember, just go longer than you want to. We like to use three to five minutes, but if it's your first time, don't worry about that. And if you're experienced, try something different. Maybe give yourself 10 breaths. See how slow you can take those 10 breaths and see where you are. Change it up. Don't always just go for the time. It's about being adaptable, becoming resilient. So I want you to give this a shot next time you're going for a plunge or an ice bath or a cold shower. And if you're in Memphis, we would love to have you join. Uh, so you can find us on our find the schedule on our website, www.symmetry.live. Hope everybody has a great day.